I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll try to understand what does interquartile mean. Uh, let us take an example. Let us say we're talking about marks in a class for math class, right? So grade 12 math test. Okay. So let us say the marks for grade 12 students are kind of like this 70, 75, uh, 78, 62, 34, 90, 96, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let me add two more in this list. Let's say 88 and uh, let's say 84. Let us say these are the marks obtained by nine students. So for simplicity, we are taking nine students. Now for these nine students, uh, let us find out what is the mean, the median, which is second quartile, first quartile, and the third quartile. To find them, we have to arrange them in a proper order, right? So let's arrange these marks in increasing order. So let's pick up the marks in order. Let's say 84 seems to be higher. Let me write down 84 on the right hand side. 70 let's say here 75 maybe in between 78 correct higher than 75 62 okay 34 fine 90 seems to be on this side 96 and 88 will come here so that is how we have nine marks let's count them one two three four five six seven eight nine now if we have nine marks in the list so what is the median or second quartile? Second quartile is the middle value. So that is the fifth, right? So one, two, three, four, fifth. So this value gives us the median or the second quartile. So we get 78. How about first quartile? First quartile is the middle value of these, right? So, so in this particular case, we have these two numbers here. We can find average of these to find the middle value. So we have 62 plus 70 divided by 2 and that gives us, let's use the calculator, 62 plus 70 equals to divide by 2 equals to 66. Okay, so we get 66 and the third quartile is midway between the later half, right? So this quarter, right? So that gives us 88 plus 90 divided by 2 so the average is 89 here right so we get these three quartiles now the question is how to find interquartile mean that is what we need to understand what does interquartile mean now interquartile mean what is that now as you know when we're talking about the median, the lowest datum and the largest datum, right? So in that case, what we give is, we find the weighted mean, where these are like quarters, right? These are like quarters. So when you make a box and whisker diagram, kind of, right? Okay, kind of like this. Then the middle portion is half of it this is half and these ones are quarter quarter right so the middle portion represents half the data so we'll kind of find weighted mean to find the interquartile mean and the formula becomes q1 plus 4 times q2 plus q3 divide by 1 plus 4 plus 1 correct now in our case q1 is 66 plus 4 times q2 is 78 plus 89 divided by 6 that gives us the answer so let's calculate the value it is 66 plus 4 times 78 plus 89 equals to divided by 6 equals to in decimals 77.83 so it gives 77.83 okay so we can say that interquartile mean is very close to 
Q2 and it is 77.8. Do you see that? But that is how we find interquartile mean. I hope that makes sense. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.